Down Syndrome, Trisomy 21. Down syndrome was first described by an English physician, John Langdon Down, in 1862. He identified that the Down syndrome was not a mental disability. Historically, many people with Down syndrome were killed, abandoned, or cast out of society. In the 20th century, it was common for these people to be institutionalized. The lifespan for people with Down syndrome has improved dramatically. In the 1960s, people with Down syndrome often didn't see their 10th birthday. Today's life expectancy for people with Down syndrome has reached an average of 50 to 60 years. Down syndrome is a lifelong condition. You'll see low muscle tone, short structure, a flat nasal bridge, and a protruding tongue. At birth, babies with Down syndrome usually have certain characteristic signs, including flat facial features, small head and ears, short neck, bulging tongue, eyes that slant upwards, a typically shaped ears, or muscle tone. People with Down syndrome usually have some degree of developmental disabilities, but it's often mild to moderate mental and social development. Delays may mean that the child could have impulsive behavior, poor judgment, short attention span, slow learning, and slow learning capabilities. Some medical complications often accompany Down syndrome. About 95% of the time, Down syndrome is caused by trisomy 21. The person has three copies of chromosome 21 instead of the usual two copies in all cells. This is caused by abnormal cell division during the development of sperm cell or the egg cell. In children with Down syndrome, one of the chromosomes doesn't separate properly. The baby ends up with three copies or an extra partial copy of chromosome 21 instead of two. Research shows that three types of chromosomal changes can lead to Down syndrome. Complete trisomy 21, mosaic trisomy 21, and translocational trisomy 21. Most cases of Down syndrome are not inherited. When the condition is caused by trisomy 21, the chromosomal abnormality occurs as a random event during the formation of reproductive cells in a parent. The abnormality usually occurs in egg cells, but it occasionally occurs in sperm cells. In children with Down syndrome, the 21st chromosome does not separate properly. The baby ends up with three copies or an extra partial copy of chromosome 21 instead of two. This extra chromosome causes problems as the brain and physical features develop. Down syndrome is neither dominant nor recessive. The terms dominant and recessive are usually to describe particular genes and the traits they produce. During pregnancy, it can be diagnosed by ultrasound, QMS, amniocentesis, CVS, or umbilical blood sampling. At birth, it can be diagnosed by physical examination and karyotype blood test. How is it treated? Down syndrome cannot be cured. Early treatment programs can help improve skills they may include speech, physical, occupational, and or educational therapy. With support and treatment, many people with Down syndrome live happy, productive lives. Down syndrome remains the most common chromosomal condition diagnosed in the United States. Each year, about 6,000 babies born in the United States have Down syndrome. This means that Down syndrome occurs in one in every 700 babies. When I researched all this, I was surprised to learn how common Down syndrome is. I was amazed how poorly 
people with Down syndrome have been treated in the past. Studying this has showed me people with Down syndrome are just as human as me, and I should not judge them or feel uncomfortable about them. Studying this gave me more compassion towards people with Down syndrome.